Hello there. First I have to apologize for the hiss in the audio. But this is going to be some readings today. First of all, this is um, written down about electronics. This was done in what I always thought was the second grade although it was in my third grade folder or I mean my uh, a third grade uh, folder that my mom had in filing although it also has a uh, fourth grade report card put in there by mistake so it's not all the right things I think this is from the second grade before was for my science fair project I believe in the second grade which would have been in well in 2000 second grade was from 1999 to 2000 and of course the science fairs were done in the latter year of the school year so I'll read this to you <clears throat> word for word electronics electronics are fun if you had some electronics you could build some electronic things electronics are very neat there are different kinds of components the components are resistors, capacitors, diodes, speakers, microchips, LED equals light emitting diode, transistors, light bulbs, bulb holders, transformers, LCD equals liquid crystal display. Different parts of speakers are the diaphragm, magnet, coil, and wire that's what is in a speaker speakers have ohms and watts light bulbs have volts and watts LEDs have volts and watts maybe when you make things that are electronic you will need alligator clips or wire caps and wires lots of electronic toys use batteries some toys will use one battery. Some toys might use a solar panel. You could use paper clips to clip on a bat battery to power something. Electrons flow through the wires. There is a positive and a negative on a battery. They flow from negative to positive. There has to be a complete circuit or the circuit won't work. Now, if that was second grade, I would have been, um, at that time, would have been nine years old. If it was third grade, ten years old. And now, for my third grade science fair project that I did about speakers, I want to give a shout out to the YouTuber SpeakerFreak95 because he'll probably enjoy this. Um, I'll show you from the first page here. Okay, here we go. Um, speakers. Speakers are friendly. Do you want to know what's inside a speaker? The parts of a speaker are the diaphragm, cone, voice coil, spring, magnet, the frame, basket, and glue, leads, wires, and cylinder. When a speaker sounds scratchy, that means the coil is rubbing against the magnet. If it sounds normal, that means that it is firmly sliding inside the magnet. If it doesn't work at all, that means that the voice coil wire has a break in it. Do you know what? I made two speakers all by myself. I also fixed a speaker with a person named Donald. There was a speaker with cracks on the cone. I put glue on the cracks and made the speaker sound better. Flip the page. Show you this. Uh, the glue's coming undone. It was done with rubber cement. Okay kinds of speakers there are many 
different sizes of speakers. Tweeters are for high pitch, mid range for middle pitch, woofer for bass. Why are speakers in a box? The reason why speakers are in boxes is because it will be louder and better. The reason why speakers have a vent is to protect the diaphragm from getting broken. Scholarship Award. This certifies that Ricky Klein has earned this award to honor um, presented to Abundant Life School Award Ceremony this 27th day of April 2001. Yes, 2001. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video um, of me reading about my science fair electronics that I did in either the second or the third. I know my third grade science fair was mainly a speaker thing, and it seems like I remember that electronics one from the second grade, so I'm pretty sure the electronics one was in the second grade, and I know the speaker one was in the third grade because I remember that one vividly. So I hope you enjoyed this video.